Hi students, how are you feeling today? I hope you are in top spirits. Now, you have to be in top spirits, then you will be able to follow the lesson well. Welcome to ITTV. I'm Miss Helen, your Form 3 English language tutor. Our lesson for today is based on adverbs of time. Now, when you hear the word time, what question word comes to your mind? It's definitely when. And when you ask the question when, the answer will be based on time. All right, students, let's begin the lesson and follow closely. Adverbs of time. Tell when an action happens and answers the question when. So when you talk about time, the question word is when. Now example, number one, we shall leave now. Now when are we going to leave? Now. So that's the adverb of time. We shall leave now. Now is the adverb of time. Next, Siti and Jennifer are going to Gunting Highlands tomorrow. Now when are they going? They are going tomorrow. So tomorrow is an adverb of time. The next example, John sang in the concert yesterday. Now when did John sing? He sang yesterday. So yesterday tells you the time, adverb of time. Now, we are going to go on to the words that indicate they are adverbs of time. And that's when you ask the question word, when. So let's look at the examples here. Examples of adverbs of time, then. Now look at the spelling. This is T-H-E-N. Now students be very careful, it's not T-H-A-N. If you use T-H-A-N, then it becomes a comparison. Now this is an adverb of time, it's T-H-E-N. Already is another example. Eventually. Soon. After. Before. Now students, when you look at all these examples, they tell you when something has happened. Next. Week. So, when, did this, uh, when is this going to happen? Next week. Or even if you use week on its own, is also telling you the adverb of time. Sunday. Just. Now, students, don't think only Sunday is the adverb of time. All right? The days of the week, they all tell you when something is going to happen. So they are adverbs of time. Finally, last month. All right, students. Now those were examples of adverbs of time. Now we are going to go on to an exercise. That's exercise one. Now to remember the adverbs of time, Let's play a game. All right. Now, the clue is nine letters. All right. Now, I'm sure students, you all know what a hangman game is. You all must be playing it. So, think of the answer. Answer. Yesterday. All right. Now, count the letters there. You have Y, E, S, T, E, R, D, A, Y nine letters all right so yesterday is an adverb of time now we are trying to make you learn the language in a fun way all right the next one eight letters now, what is that going to be now it has to definitely be an adverb of time so think eight letters adverb of time what is it going to be answer tomorrow and when you count, that is definitely eight letters. 
Next, nine letters. Another nine letter word that's going to be the adverb of time. What is it going to be? Think. Answer, fortnight. All right, fortnight. Now, what's the meaning of fortnight? Fortnight means two weeks. So you can say in two weeks time or in a fortnight. That means it's definitely two weeks. So you've got to know the meaning of fortnight. Next, four letters. That's very easy, isn't it? The answer, soon. All right, next, five letters. Answer, today. So when did this happen? Well, it happened today. It tells you the time. Now, students, we are finished with the game. Now, we are going to go on to something a bit more serious, all right? Exercise two. Replace the words in bold with suitable adverbs of time and rewrite the sentences. All right, number one. All the workers get their wages once a week. All right, now once a week is going to be changed to an adverb of time. So what's the answer? Let's check it out. All the workers get their wages weekly. See the L-Y there? That's also another clue that it's an adverb. All right, number two. Can you start cooking at this moment because we are hungry? So at this moment. Answer. Can you start cooking now? Because we are hungry. Number three, the seminar will start in a short while. I hope I have time to eat my breakfast. So you have to replace in a short while. Now what's the replacement going to be like? Answer. The seminar will start shortly. I hope I have time to eat my breakfast. All right, students. Now, when we talk about adverbs of time, you've got to remember those words that will sort of answer the question when. Now, we gave you the examples just now. Now, for example, yesterday. All right, that means something happened yesterday. When did this happen? It happened yesterday. Soon is another example. Soon we are going to have our holidays. So that means it tells you the time. All right, soon. Another example is finally. Finally, the show has come to an end. So it again gives you the time. Now, students, you got to remember all these words that tell you about time. And they comes under adverbs of time. So you know, when you do your grammar lesson, sometimes you might be asked to identify the different types of adverbs. And these words are going to be your clue. They will guide you. And remember, when you make your sentences, uh, certain adverbs, they end in L-Y. And certain adverbs don't end in L-Y. So you got to sort of read up and make sure you are really familiar with adverbs of time. And what's the question word for adverbs of time? That's definitely W-H-E-N, when. When, answer, will be the time. For example, when are we having our English lesson? So you have to give the time. Our English lesson is going to start at 10 o'clock. All right, so that tells you the time, when. Now, I'm going to summarize these adverbs of time. All right, students. Now, remember, adverbs of time, they tell you when an action has happened and you answer the question, when. When is the magic word that tells you about adverbs of time. All right, students, we have come to the end of our lesson. Until we meet again, Bye for now. Thank you.